And welcome back for yet again some more Mountain Blade Warband with the Legla Mod 1.2 installed. So, uh, where did we left off last time? Because, well, quite frankly, um, I... Uh, well, how to say this? Uh, I skipped a couple of days in the video making process. Uh, I do have to apologize for that because, well... Uh, something just occurred in my life and I kind of was not in the mood to make any more videos for that period. I'm still dealing with it, but I'm not really going to tell you what it is because, well, I just don't. Uh, so uh, that is the reason why I had not uploaded for two days and I hope to make sure that today you will get this video and hopefully you will enjoy it just as other videos. So where were we last time? I believe we had a giant battle which we barely won I believe that was the case and uh, we are now trying to increase our army size uh, let me just check how much money we have not that much money uh, but uh, we will try to uh, uh, let, let me first check what do we need really because uh, we can now have we now have a company of 77 and the average uh, the morale above average so I think we can sustain 77 people and therefore I don't really think it is that necessary to really increase our army size and I'm getting mixed comments on the videos people want me to have more cavalry people want me to have more infantry and well this debate is probably gonna continue until the end of the series so for now we'll just uh, check how much cavalry we've got so we've got like uh, 24 um, 24, 32, and how much infantry? 24. Does it add up, I suppose? So, 32, 24, almost. This is 24, 26. Okay, so we also got these recruits. Um, so, sure. I think one time we'll just be more infantry heavy, and the other time we'll just be more cavalry heavy. I mean, just. Just the mood I have, I suppose. Uh, oh, we can attack bandits. Always nice to open up with a little battle. So, Edwin, everyone charge? No. Wait, infantry, everyone, follow me. Let's not go into charging mode just yet. Let's just uh, try to do this properly. Infantry, just stand a little bit here. Go. Archers, oh, stand in here. And cavalry, follow me. Fast already standing there. Okay, and they're already killing someone. Sorry. Well, we have to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And we actually have a car by now. Wow. Always oh, nice. Just to kill them off, I suppose. No need to have any casualties. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I've got. We have a car by now. But, uh, yeah. I suppose it has like uh, the same reload rating as the pistol, or in some regards perhaps. It should be powerful, more powerful however, for this I probably need more horse musketry. So we'll just uh, try to get that in the process I suppose. And it's always good to just save uh, villages because this is free, uh, free goods with uh, uh, actually bonus uh, to uh, likeness I suppose. Because you can raid them and take all the shit, or you can just help them fight bandits. And when you fight bandits with them, uh, they'll just give you also some shit. Which is nice. There you go. And there you go. Get this guy as well. Nice. And turn around. Nice. Good job, gentlemen. All going well, I suppose. So now I have not yet seen uh, any uh, <laughs> wow <laughs> any casualties, so that's always nice. Let me just try to get this one shot correctly. Okay, still missed. Don't. Excuse me, sir. Sir, could you stop the hostilities? You've lost. Okay, well. Oh God. 
Oh yeah, right. So people have always also been asking me to not wear this um, <laughs> vanilla outfit. And my argument for having it is, well, quite frankly, it is the best thing I can get. But uh, they were arguing, or oh, yeah, this thick, ooh, iron, nice. They were saying that it is not appropriate for me to have uh, not like a commanding uniform. So we'll just fix that as well. Um, Supposed to just get some more infantry guys first as well. One people want me to have infantry, the other one wants to have other stuff. Okay, and I believe that we do have let's see, notes, uh, characters. So, yes, we have a thief. Uh, however, most likely this thief has been raided over and over. Yes, Gurlitz, it has it's being raided even. Uh, well, until then, we will not really visit the thief, because quite frankly, if there is nothing for us to have, we might as well not bother. <laughs> okay, and, okay. And let's just continue on recruiting our party. Got some more volunteers, excellent. Can we actually upgrade? No, not at all. And, well, I do believe that the um, the war with Austria will end soon because it has been raging on for quite some time now. And hopefully we can then engage in a new enemy because, ooh, another group of enemies. Excellent. Because, well, in the beginning you, of course, uh, start off fighting the, uh, uh, the English as well. However, the war with England is already over. And, well, I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps next we can fight the Bavarians, the Russians, perhaps not. Just because most likely they were allies. Oh, just engage. No need to really have tactics against 20 bandits. Okay, it would be nice if I could use my musket correctly, but hey. Hold the line and open fire. Off we go. Oh. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. There we go. I suppose with my horse I want more uh what call it? Uh maneuver rather than uh, speed. Because in tight corners like this, when you go bandit hunting, yeah, you definitely want to be able to move uh, a little bit more quicker around. There we go. Where's the last bugger? Here he is. Oh, this one, perhaps. Oh, this one. Jesus. Gentlemen, the houses are, of course, very interesting, but... Stop. Off you go. Anyone else? Still in defense, I suppose. Oh well. There we go, victory is ours yet again, and we most likely get some more shit. Nice. So, one wounded, and that is Dragoon de Ligne. Okay, take it as do. Beef, nice. I was just wondering about food, but we actually have plenty. For now, at least. Okay, no one seems to be able, willing to join us, really. Okay. Um, okay, so we now have a party of 106. Uh, morale is now average, so it is declining. Which is uh, not really the best. Uh, enter depot. Uh, let's go for quartermaster. Yeah, sure. And then cavalry. Oh, we actually now have some more. Imperial guards. Ch Chevalier. Chevalier. Leger officer. Which is a Polish guard. Okay. Uh, Hussar officer. Line cuirassier officer. Uh, 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 well, we've got sergeant, lieutenant, ranker, <laughs> wanker, oh well, um, it does look very fancy, fancy, um, and gloves, so, which one is nicer, this one, 
or this one? I suppose we do want the sturdy Austrian cavalryman's hamlet or the French. So do we want to, I suppose we do want to feather on the hat, okay. There we go, a little bit more. Ah, uh, I don't know how to put it, more officer-like, I suppose. Okay, and uh, I think we now are almost strong enough. Yeah, we're almost at full, uh, a full capacity, so we might as well just uh, go and hunt for the ostriches yet again. Okay, and we want to increase our musketry. Nice. And we also need some food, so we'll just go to a city and buy some supplies, or a village. Of course, we do want to have uh, the beef not rot, <laughs> which would be nice. Uh, so, marketplace, gunsmith, general merchant. Nice, the beef did not rot, good. And we've got some wool for you, pistol cartridges, double barrel pistol. Okay, we did uh, get the cartridges right, that's nice. So, a large bag of musket cartridges, always welcome. Okay, let's buy some more food. We'll be on the road for quite some time. And, well, still don't really know how to use ill because it's not being consumed, just like this one. So it doesn't directly increase party morale, so I'm not really sure. So if you could tell me how, <laughs> that would be nice, so leave it down in the comments, of course. So let us uh, first check what is our faction doing, so L'Empire Francais. And it's still fighting, and the French have had the upper hand. Okay, that's always nice. And that means that we will just very simply just go to... Let's see... Ah, shit, I believe they've taken back our little province, or our little fief. So we'll just go to their capital, and we'll just... Uh, to, to that, to, we'll go to our and not capital, this new city. Jesus, oh well. And from there, on, we'll just uh, try to snipe a little, a couple of weak uh, parties, and hopefully uh, do some damage. So Hanover is not being taken. It's, who is in Hanover? Let's see. No one of importance. No. Okay, that is unfortunate. Okay, and then we got like Prussia. Let's see. I also want to know with whom uh, Austria is at war with. And it appears that also with Holland and with the Poles. Oh well, always the Poles, the Polish people. Okay, so. Uh, Marechal Louis Nicolas Davout uh, sends word that he wishes you to join the new military campaign. You need to bring at least eight troops to the army and um, are instructed to raise more men with all due haste, if you do not have enough. Okay. And we want to know where he is. And of course now people start to leave us. So report and he was last seen close to Wien. And that is unfortunate because Wien is quite through some enemy territory, but we'll just cross it, because we, we've got balls of iron, I suppose, steel. Okay, so we've got some bandits, and Polenkrijf Prussia. And another weekly report, of course, people are now leaving me, that is unfortunate. Let's we'll get some more of these guys, and we can upgrade ourselves again, okay, always nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, okay, we still have not yet spent this uh, point, and we want to spend it in musketry, horse musketry, okay. Okay, so, this Kaisertun Unikrek offers you a sum of 1800 francs in silver if you are willing to sell him. Oh, do we have the guy? Yeah, sure, um, I did not even know we had a prisoner. Nice, 1800 francs. Good. And, well, that is unfortunate. We no longer have a thief because it did give us quite a lot of money. Hmm. Okay, excuse me, uh, Colin Moriarty. There's something I need to tell you. I have fought in your, in your shield wall and done well by it. But your leadership is not always to my liking. And anyways, I've, 
I have another task. I will take what plunder I have won and raise a warband of my own and sail to Nordland and take back my husband's hall from my treacherous brother-in-law. I wish you well. Uh, can I persuade you? No, I cannot. Oh, well, off with you then, I suppose. She did have uh, the most charisma of all the people, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so um, to whom do we need to report? So report to uh, Marichal Louis, so the marshal. And that is... You? No. That is you. Okay. Okay, my name is Colonel Mariarty. Okay, I have a company of good hardened soldiers <coughs> with me and we are ready to join the war. Excellent. So, we'll be moving soon now. You are a man of sound judgment and we trust you that you will do is... Uh, that you will do what is necessary to support our campaign. I do not require you to remain close at hand and will not c count it against you if you believe that your forces would be a of better use elsewhere. Okay, so it's basically join us or not. And I think we will not join you because I see a very juicy company of men just chilling here. Okay, and let's see, uh, we've completed the quest and that gave us some more experience nice uh when can we actually increase this one even further mm. so this is charisma still um can we increase anything else just increase looting then i suppose okay and increase musketry oh there's actually <coughs> one with pistols i did not see that one okay so okay okay that's a little bit too big for my liking And it is catching up with me. Okay, so 100 guys. Can we take them on? I think we can. So uh, our 100 could just uh, do this battle. Play your play battle with the enemy. Okay, take the field. Of course, we'll just take the field. <coughs> okay, everyone. We'll just uh, do it correctly this time. Archers, move forward. Can we hear me? Infantry. We'll do the same bloody thing as the last time, and that was quite a victorious battle. So we'll just stick close to our archers, and we will ask our archers to get into a square formation. Always nice if you can do such a very nice thing. And well, um, let's see, just hold on for here for now, as I ask the infantry gentlemen to very simply chill here. Okay, and they are bugging out a little bit. Okay, always oh, nice to see such a thing. So, and that will make sure that we've got... Uh, I don't know. Everybody, follow me. This is of the utmost importance that we win this battle. I mean, it appears that they have quite a lot of infantry in themselves, which is nice. Let's see if we can get a pot up right. No, we can't. Right, are we ready to roll? I think we are ready to roll. Charge! Okay, I've not yet really hit anything with this, uh, and I think, with this uh, carbine, and I think that they actually have just raised this army because they got quite a lot of decent, or not really decent guys out here. I mean, these I suppose Jaegers of some sort? Let's see. Österreich Jagd Schütze. Schütze, okay. But yeah, I mean, lots of infantry against all my cavalry. It's just, oh, just slaughtering in the hundreds. Well, a hundred guys, of course. And if he had cavalry, my uh, square formation should really help in this situation. Off you go. Okay, they also have artillery, but I suppose we should not really. Uh, could we bother? Yeah, sure, we'll just bother as well. Might as well. Um, but until now, this carbine has not really been the best. 
Okay, now it has, because it just killed someone still. Uh, the, <laughs> the crosshairs are still a little bit too uh, too large for my uh, liking. And the reload time. Okay. Here you. And you. Come on, you. Go, you. And there we go. Artillery taken out, sir. By yourself, sir. But I suppose uh, the new garments do look fabulous, you know? This is someone you would want to join into battle, you know? Very nice liking. New armies have, enemies have arrived. Okay, let's just head around. Okay. And more infantry. Excellent. But our cavalry is, of course, now a little bit scattered around, so we might as well... Uh, do it ourselves now. A little bit, di little bit of damage. Okay, here they're already coming. So loose formations, enemy. That's usually what does the job against you. So fresh recruits. Okay, my horse is almost dead. So uh, okay, let's uh, let's do a little bit of retreating. Okay, amount. The mount received 120 extra damage. Why? Oh well. Uh, should we pull that back to cavalry for now? Cavalry, retreat. We'll do a uniform attack once again. Okay, miss you. That's unfortunate. We'll just rely on our artillery to finish the job. Well, they won't, won't really finish the job, but hey, we could dream they would. Okay, gentlemen, the group, right over here. Then I can ask my formation order, single rank formation. Let's spread it out a little bit. They don't have any cavalry, so yeah. Okay, they do have one cavalry. Just take care of it, get two perhaps. Receive damage to the horse, really. Don't you dare to do such a thing. Come on. Off you go. Hey, don't you fucking fuck with me. There you go. <clears throat> okay, archers. By orders. Make ready present. There we go. Fire at will. Just charge in, I suppose. Okay, nice shot. Nicely done. I suppose we should uh, also try to buy some uh, horses for our uh, NPCs. <laughs> so they actually uh, can join the glorious battle on horseback. Which would be nice. A very nice touch. And uh, I suppose this is like uh, the conclusion of the battle. We have not used all our forces, but they have used all theirs, so... Ah, fuck, no! You got my horse! You retard! Death before dishonor, I suppose. Infantry, follow me. I need some bodyguards on me. So we'll just... Uh Come here, you. Jesus. <laughs> a peasant's woman, okay, well. Is that not just like the best uh, scenario you want to find yourself in? Stop running! Well, just shoot you down then. Reload in. Can we still hit her? 
I don't think so. Carbine is highly inaccurate. It's like a pistol, however, with high damage. I would I would say it like that, you know? It feels like a pistol. In the back, of course. 50 foot damage. Hmm. So we've got Pierre Dugo and Dandy Donnell, and of course, uh, Artimer. Who are my sacred bodyguard. For now. You can't really shoot for shit, can you? Come on, just kill him already. Just pull the trigger. Like so. Okay, that won't work. So then you just, you know, charge in. Bayonets first. Even though this is not a bayonet, you know, never mind. Okay. Well, losing my horse really kicked the battle in its bum, you know? Because we kind of lost some momentum. But it's nice to see our personal bodyguard. I suppose we can make these guys up my personal bodyguard. Because we'll just give them nice clothes. And perhaps the same clothes as me, I don't know. And then we'll just give them also horses. And then we can make them like a, fo uh, a separate group. And they will just always be following me. And there we go, that's victory. There we go, we lost six guys. And we've killed 90. And two of their guys managed to escape. And my horse is no longer lame. Excellent. So, uh, I suppose we just... It's weird that we cannot find their food stuffs. I mean, you would expect them to have food, wouldn't you? I would. But we'll just take it all and then we'll just... Uh, Clove our own officers with us, with it, you know, peasants, peasant clothes, why not? So, Captain, I must tell you that I questioned Dandy Donnell's medical credentials as he was tending to our wounded after the last battle. I saw him, I saw fit to remind him that the peerless Galarian often advocated administering a distillation of beetroot. Uh, to restore the humor imbalance brought by loss of sanguinity. Then he responded to Galenian that Galenian was an an antiquitous known nothing. Captain Captain no true doctor would uh, have such disrespect for the great masters of the past. I do not believe you should employ such an obvious imposter. Um I do want to have Danny Donnell still with me because of his Awesome skills in uh, you know sewing people back together and making sure I don't have to redo all the shit again, so I don't have to re uh, re recruit people. And I really hate re recruiting people, so just get back in line. So we now have Grenadier Apier, nice, and we will most likely just uh, get our guys in the next episode. So I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this a little bit longer episode than usual. Uh, so, as always, please do leave a comment down below expressing your opinion about this series. And, as always, thanks for watching and bye.